Japan's 14-day miracle soil trick, the Bakashi method that beats compost every time, you've been doing it wrong, all those months of turning, watering and waiting for your compost pile to break down, only to end up with half the nutrients gone in a backyard that smells like something crawled in and never came out. But what if there was a faster, cleaner, kitchen-friendly way to turn your food scraps into rich living soil in just two weeks? That's exactly what Japan's Bakashi method does, and it's quietly revolutionizing the way gardeners around the world feed their soil. Forget everything you know about composting. Bokashi isn't about decay. It's about fermentation. Instead of letting your scraps rot in open air, this Japanese technique uses beneficial microbes to pickle your waste in a sealed container. The result is a biologically charged pre-compost that breaks down into dark, fertile humus in record time, without the odor, pests, or mess that come with traditional composting. The secret behind Bokashi's speed Traditional composting is aerobic, meaning it relies on oxygen and decomposition. Bokashi, on the other hand, is anaerobic. It thrives in the absence of air. This process, driven by effective microorganisms, preserves nutrients instead of letting them oxidize and escape. While regular composting can take three to six months, Bokashi fermentation takes just 14 days. And the best part? It can be done right inside your kitchen. During fermentation, the microbes work like microscopic chefs, breaking down food at the cellular level and locking in nutrients in a form your plants can immediately use. By the end, you're left with a pre-compost that looks more like preserved food than soil. But don't be fooled. It's teeming with microbial life, ready to supercharge your garden once it's mixed into the earth. Setting up your Bokashi system is, honestly, surprisingly simple. All you'll need is a Bokashi bucket with an airtight lid, plus a spigot at the bottom so you can drain off any liquid. These buckets are pretty easy to find online or at most gardening stores. And if you're into DIY projects, you can totally make one yourself using a standard airtight container. Just fit it with a small tap near the base. Inside the bucket, you'll be layering your food waste along with a microbial activator called Bokashi Bran. The bran is really the heart of the whole process. It's packed with the beneficial microbes that actually fuel the fermentation. You can pick up Bokashi Bran pre-made. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, you can make it yourself using a simple formula. So, to make your own Bokashi brand, here's what you'll need. 1 kilogram of wheat brand 500 milliliters of EM1 solution. That's the microbial inoculant, 2 tablespoons of molasses, and 1 liter of non-chlorinated water. Mix everything together until the brand feels moist, but not soggy. It should clump in your hand when you squeeze it, but not actually drip. After that, seal it up airtight and let it ferment for about 2 weeks. When it's ready, it'll have a slightly sweet, tangy smell, and just like that, your homemade Bokashi starter is good to go. So, to get started, just sprinkle 2-3 to three tablespoons of Bokashi bran at the bottom of your bucket. Next, add your first layer of food scraps. The beauty of this method is really its versatility. You can include fruit and vegetable peels, cooked food, small bones, dairy, and even bits of meat. Items that honestly would ruin a traditional compost pile. For faster fermentation, chop those scraps into smaller pieces. After each layer of waste, sprinkle 1 to 2 tablespoons of Bokashi bran for every liter of scraps. Then press it down firmly to remove any air pockets. Remember, Bokashi thrives without oxygen. Once everything's sealed up, keep your bucket at room temperature, somewhere between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius, and just let the microbes work their magic. Every few days you'll notice liquid collecting at the bottom. That's Bokashi tea, a powerful byproduct that actually doubles as liquid fertilizer. Just drain it using the spigot and dilute one part Bokashi tea with 100 parts water, like 10 milliliters of tea, per one liter of water. Use it right away to water your plants, or pour it down your drain to clean pipes and neutralize odors naturally. When your bucket is full, go ahead and seal it for about two weeks. A mild, sweet and sour smell means it's fermenting properly. White mold on top is a great sign, it means beneficial fungi are thriving. But if you see black or green mold or notice a foul odor that means air got in, just tighten your seal next time and add a bit more bran. 
after the two-week fermentation your waste won't really look like compost yet it'll look more like pickled leftovers but underneath that it's alive with microbial activity so to turn your bokashi waste into rich soil just take your fermented bokashi waste outdoors and dig a trench about 20 to 25 centimeters deep then mix the contents with the surrounding soil in roughly equal parts about half bokashi half soil be sure to cover it completely to keep pests out over the next two to three weeks the microbes will continue breaking down the material until it transforms into dark crumbly humus if you garden in pots or raised beds you can mix the pre-compost directly into your soil and let it rest for a couple of weeks before planting you can even blend it with traditional compost for an ultra rich growing medium that plants absolutely love traditional composting demands constant turning perfect moisture balance, and honestly, months of patience. Even then, it loses nearly half its nutrients, especially nitrogen and calcium, through oxidation. Bokashi, on the other hand, keeps those nutrients locked in. It's odor-free, pest-proof, and lightning fast. In just a month from your first kitchen scrap, you can have nutrient-dense soil ready for planting. Plants grown in bokashi and rich soil develop stronger roots, richer color, and faster growth because they're fed with biologically available nutrients instead of slow-release decomposed matter. And since bokashi works in a sealed environment, it's perfect for apartment dwellers or anyone without outdoor space. You can literally compost your food waste right under your sink. Troubleshooting your bokashi is honestly easier than you might think. If your bokashi starts to smell rotten, it means too much air got in. Compress the layers more tightly next time and make sure your lid seals completely. Black or green mold indicates contamination, so you'll want to discard that batch and clean your bucket with vinegar before starting over. If the mix looks too wet, just add extra bran to absorb moisture. And remember, keep your bucket indoors where temperatures stay between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius for optimal fermentation. Bokashi isn't just composting, it's regeneration. It rebuilds your soil from the ground up, restoring microbial life that improves structure, boosts water retention, and makes nutrients more accessible to your plants. Over time, your garden becomes self-sustaining, richer, and more resilient against pests and disease. That's the real secret behind Japan's soil revolution. In just two weeks, you're not only reducing waste, you're creating a living ecosystem right beneath your feet. So, if you're ready to stop wasting time on slow, smelly compost piles and start producing lush, healthy soil faster than ever before, give Bokashi a try. Your plants will thank you, your kitchen will stay clean, and your garden will never be the same again. And, hey, if this guide helped you, make sure to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your fellow gardeners. Let's spread the word about the 14-day soil miracle that's changing gardens around the world, one bucket at a time.